Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name's Shane and welcome to Clutch Guitars. So today is yard sale day. It's actually Saturday. Yesterday was usually the best day to go, Fridays and Thursdays is the best day to go for state sales. It's a little bit late, but as you've seen in some of my previous videos here, I've done really good on Saturdays finding huge coin collections. And about two videos ago, I found an aquamarine about 30 carats worth about $4,500. So hopefully today, um, I'm not expecting to find a $4,500 aquamarine today, but that's the thing. You never know what you're going to find when you go do these yard sales. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, second garage sale. And I got three books, three vintage books. And for $4, I got this 925 silver ring. Uh, it weighs probably a quarter ounce, I would say. So totally worth four bucks. Um, and these books, I got them for five bucks for all three. And I know that this one here is the original and the one below it is a copy. And this one here is from 18, this one here was given to somebody in 1896. So, I mean, it's not in the best condition. There's like markings and stuff on it. All right, let's go to the next yard sale. We're doing pretty good so far. You wouldn't happen to have any guitars here, would you? Broken or working? That's a good question. I don't know if my wife wants to get rid of her guitar or not, so it's possible. I will ask her. Guitar repair man. Yeah. So if there's broke guitars, I just buy them and fix them up. I think this is silver. I can't tell, so I'm gonna use my magnet. It's not picking it up. But it would hollow out really easily. Yeah, if it's I got a natural If I had a lathe or something I can make a bowl out of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's got some cool character too. Yeah, it does. That's I think awesome. I could make like a little jewelry box out of it or something, you know. Is that pine? It is pine. Interesting. It is pine. I think it's all ponderosa up in that forest. Yep. With these beanie babies, you want to look for the ones that. 99. Yeah, you want to look for the ones that are like. Um, it doesn't have the little star. It just says T Y, and that's it. I wonder what else is in here. I don't know. I didn't really want to dig through. Really. Yeah, there's one. Still got the star. That's a Bronco tie baby. Elway. That's not a tie baby. I still like it. The other brand. Well, here's one. I don't know. I'll probably regret not buying them. I'm getting one when we have a house. Snow cone machine. There's some CDs. These are worthless. Hey, look at this. Rocks. Look at this. There's all kind of cool gemstones and rocks and things. Well, that's cool. A lot of it looks like it's maybe from South Dakota. That's petrified wood right there. I bet if I dug through here, I might find an agate or something. Some interesting stuff. Some jasper. There's a big chunk of pyrite. Heavy. Maybe I'll buy the whole pail. Good. Five bucks. Do you have any magic cards? Those are my kids' Pokemon cards. Pokemon cards? Yeah. I don't know enough about Pokemon cards. Somebody, I'm sure, is screaming at their screen right now. Buy it. 
You idiot. You passed it up. Because I don't know what they are. This is a Pokemon. Yeah, they're Pokemon cards. My brother might know. My brother would know. I don't know his name. Maybe I'll buy them and then we could figure out what they're worth. I'm sure they're worth something. I doubt that. You doubt it? And it's still a thing. It's not like baseball cards. Yeah, but I know they sell for a lot. When I was in Japan, they had Pokemon cards going for 50 grand for one card for certain ones. I think I'm going to buy these Pokemon cards and this bucket of rocks. I can look through them in more detail later. We'll see how much he wants for this first. I know that they could be valuable. I just don't know what ones. I just figured I'd take them home and go through it and figure out what they're valued at, if anything. Because I know that a lot of them are worth less, but a lot are also valuable, and I just don't know the difference. Because I know these two are definitely valuable. Oh, they are. Do you know what they're worth? Uh, I know this one um, goes for like, it's at like 30 right now. I, I, I definitely think, I definitely know these two are worth a lot. Okay. I'm just trying to get rid of them. Yeah, if you're just trying to get rid of them, I'll happily take them off your hands. All right, so we're gonna finish up for the day and I got the best thing for the day. Now this thing weighs at least a pound and a half, two pounds. Now it, it is filled, but it is sterling silver. So we're gonna peel this all apart. We'll get the weight of the silver. We'll, um, we'll find the value of these Pokemon cards. I'm not gonna make it sit through um, as I go through the eBay sold listings, but I'll give you a total of that. These books. This bucket of rocks here, uh, there's a bunch of smaller rocks at the bottom. I am going to go through this stuff and I'll most likely just throw most of it in my pay dirt bags. There's a link down in the description for my pay dirt if you're interested in that. But there is some cool interesting stuff in here. Big hunk of pyrite. Um, like Looks like chert and jasper. Some other stuff. So that's interesting. All right, so anyway, I'm gonna go home and I'll get all this stuff added up. All right, we're back at home and I went ahead and used eBay sold listings to appraise pretty much this entire book. I typed in every single collector number and I learned a lot about Pokemon cards and everything and we actually did pretty good, um, especially on this first page here and I'll show that in just a second. But first I wanna show you guys what eBay sold listings is. Now eBay sold listings is an awesome free tool that anybody can use to determine the value of most items. So for these Pokemon cards, I would just type in like the collector number and the name, scroll down and make sure that sold items is checked. And everything that has sold on eBay is gonna come up here. I have it set by ended recently. So recently someone bought it for $8.20 with $5.86 shipping. Uh, here four and four, that's eight bucks for that one. 10, 11, 12, you know, $14 for this one. So I actually have this card here and it's like a big giant one. So I put it down as $10. I don't know if you can see it right there, but there's that one. And then on the other side, I have this other big card here. So for those two cards alone, they could sell for $18. Now, I don't know enough about these cards to determine which ones are worth more, which ones are worthless or whatever. All I know is I typed it into eBay and this is what I found. So this one here, that can sell for um, $18 for this card. And if it was graded at a PSA 9 mint state, it would be worth 60. All right, this card right here is worth about $24 and about 70 if it was graded. And then for the rest of the cards in the book, uh, there's a few $5 ones, um, there's a few $8 ones, and if there's no post-it note, that means they're worth between one and $2 each. There's only a handful that are worth less than a dollar. I'm not gonna show every card up close. If you wanna see that, you can go to the eBay listing. There's a link down below if you know about Pokemon cards. Um, definitely check out the listing but I'm gonna start this auction at 99 cents. These, these cards here are worth like a quarter, 50 cents, something like that. And there's only a handful of those. 
Um, the rest of them, pretty much worth a dollar. Even these cards here, they're like holographic. I thought they would be worth more, but they're worth about a buck. Some of them are worth two, three bucks, but I didn't, I didn't take the time to really. I just called all of these cards one dollar, and I came up with a value. So there's about 160 cards in here, maybe a little more. So the value of this entire book is probably somewhere around, at the low end, $262, and then at the highest end, about $414. The way I got these prices is the low number I got if I counted each of these cards as one dollar, and 414 if I counted them as two. Um, realistically, you could probably get even more than that, but you gotta remember eBay fees, if you're selling these things individually, um, you'll probably end up getting somewhere in the middle of that, maybe 300 bucks, I would, I would guess. Also, I spent $35 on the collection, so if I was to sell this at the lowest price, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna call it a profit of $227 for this collection. Um, of course, if you're watching this about a week after the video has been published or right when the video has been published, check the eBay listing to see what it's at. I'm gonna start the auction at 99 cents and uh, we'll, we'll see where it goes from there. But I mean, to me, that is an awesome score. All right, what else do we have here? All right, we got a few old books. I don't think they're worth too much. Actually, that's not bad at all. I didn't think it was worth $15. Uh, this is sold listings, $15. It's the same book that I have here. I think, let's go back and check again. Actually, it's different. This one, this one has silver letters and this one here has black. Let me see if I can find a closer one. Yep, $5.95 plus three for shipping. So we can call this a $5 book. Same thing. $5. I spent $5 for all three books. So I didn't actually see this red version, but there are a few other versions of this book. Some of them are going for $60, $60, $20, um, $3. It's all over the place. So I think I could safely call the value of this one like a dollar because I just don't know. Who knows? It could be super rare. I don't know. I'm going to sell all three of these in a lot on eBay. You can check the link below. All right. Let's see the value of this one here, Thorny Path. No exact matches found for that one, so, you know, a dollar. I'll have to start the auction at 99 cents. Maybe I can get my money back, maybe not. Doesn't matter, we already profited from the Pokemon cards. All right, next we have, okay, we've got a bucket of rocks here. I'm gonna go through these and we'll see if there's anything interesting in there. I'm probably not going to sell this stuff. I'll just throw it in my bags of pay dirt. Um, but <laughs> I just had to have it. Big bucket of rocks that were unsearched. I'm going to go through it all right now. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at those. Oh, wow. That is absolutely an agate. Half an agate. That's cool. A lot of this looks like stuff that I was finding in my South Dakota treasure hunting video. Yeah, like these rocks here with the bands in them. Looks very familiar. Big hunk of fool's gold right there. Some pyrite. That's a hunk of petrified wood. That's pretty cool. This one here actually looks really interesting. I already know what you're saying in the comments. Crush it up, find the gold. I don't know if I wanna crush it up. This one's really cool. This one, it looks kinda of like man-made or something. It's like a greenish color. That is a small animal jaw, some sort. A mammal of some sort. Yeah, just a really cool, interesting bucket of rocks. That is pretty awesome. You'll be seeing these in bags of pay dirt. There's some cool, look at this. This is a little marble. It's made out of some sort of stone. It's almost perfectly round. <laughs> There's all kind of teeth in there. That's like a clay marble. Okay, this is the base of that candlestick right here. It says Sterling Dutchin Creation Weighted. 
So I do have a couple tools here that I could use to rip this thing apart. And basically, you peel this off. It's like a layer of silver on this entire thing. These might be solid silver. Uh, these pieces might be a little bit thicker up here. Uh, that's why I purchased it for $35. Uh, she said 40. I said, I'll give you 30, and we met halfway. So I, I got this for 35. Um, now, the thing is, I don't really want to destroy it. I think it's really cool. So I'm going to check eBay and see if I can find anything that matches this. And if I could sell this on eBay and still make a profit on my $35, uh, we're going to spare it. And we're not going to destroy it. So there are a lot of auctions that are selling this thing. I want to find one similar to this piece, though. There's a bunch of candle holders, but they're, it's a different design, kind of like this one here. You can see that this one has a fatter base down the bottom. Oh, it unscrews. That's cool. Oh, wow. That's, that also says sterling weighted right there. That's cool. I didn't know it unscrewed like that. I don't want to destroy this thing. This is so cool. Does this piece unscrew? It does. Look at that. There's a piece of wax down the bottom. <laughs> Sterling weighted. Cool. In this picture here, you can see that this piece, there's, it doesn't have this bottom piece. It's like very thin down here. This one's bigger. There we go. That's exactly the same thing. It has the two fat pieces, one here and one here. Three arms, um, $106 plus $26 shipping. That auction right there just saved this thing from getting destroyed because I'm pretty sure there's not $120 worth of silver in here, um, and I paid $35 for it. I am going to go ahead and put this on eBay as well. There will be links below if you want to follow the auctions. Um, and after the auctions are over, if you're watching this next year or something, I'll make sure that I put the value in the description. So anyway, I think that was a total success. We drove around, Heather and I drove around today looking at yard sales. We did maybe eight yard sales to find this stuff. It only took maybe two or three hours. Uh, we were taking our time as well, just you know, stopping. We had some food and everything. and. It was just a fun morning. We got everything done before noon. If I say we get $100 for this candle, we would be at $327. Um, that's if I get $227 for the Pokemon cards. Also subtracting the price, like $35 for the candle and the $5 for the bucket of rocks, um, I would say we're somewhere in the $275 range on the low end. So that's definitely a success. It's not as good as my $4,500 uh, gemstone that I found in a recent yard sale video. I'll link that video right here. And make sure you check the description because I had that thing reappraised um, and it came back as $4,500. So that was a lot of fun. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. I put out a new video, at least one new video every week. And that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks again, everybody, for watching my video. It's much appreciated. I did notice that 73% of my viewers aren't even subscribers. So if you would like to make sure you don't miss any of my future videos, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.